Let's rewind a little bit. How did you get into writing in the first place? What led you to become a writer? How did you get into this? So it's funny because um, I'm I'm really more of like a, into math and science, and I did civil engineering at uh, UC Berkeley, oh, and I wow. like ran away. I was really running away from any type of humanities because I'm super dyslexic, right? Like I'll like if something says. Nine one eight. I'll see eight one nine. Right? Yep. That's next. I'm like, I have dyslexia. Like, people. Yeah. <laughs> Which I'm like, hmm. Maybe, maybe we're actually seeing it right. You know, who knows? I don't know what it is. But no, I'm, y'all not seeing it right. No, nope, it's, it's, it's backwards. You see why? This, this, right this is my. This is my brother. This is what I had to grow up with. It's I had not dyslexia. Right this is what I had to grow up with. <laughs> It oh makes gosh. It sound hilarious. If I could tell you how long it took me to learn how to write my name, I'm telling you. Golly. So so long. My mom I was just telling my mom, I'm like, don't you remember you used to like lock me in the room when it when there were spelling tests uh-huh. until I could learn how to spell the words right. I had to stay in the room until I had oh until I knew. And so I pretty much ran away from writing. Mm-hmm. Right. And but I love storytelling. And I love what it does mm-hmm. for us, like like the lessons that can be learned through storytelling, through fantasy, through all of those things. And so, um, so I was like, "Fuck it, mm-hmm. let me just do this." And I worked really hard, you know. It probably and and the thing is, I was the editor in chief of Heart and Soul magazine Heart for soul, five yeah. years too. And so it shows that. Listen, if you really want to do something. Even if even if there's the friggin' cards or or our odds are stacked mm-hmm. against you, right. you can do, <laughs> you it. do it. Yeah.